just elite hi guys welcome back to my channel today i thought i would do a classic what i've been listening to recently video just to kind of bring everyone up to date um obviously i've been away for a few months so i thought this would just be like a nice kind of way to get everyone up to speed and i'm trying to get back into posting it regularly so i'm going to talk about the things that i've been listening to while i haven't been posting um and we've got a quite a bit to get through so let's just get started i've been listening to a lot of new music to be honest i haven't really been revisiting old stuff i've mostly been listening to stuff that's either come out this year or like is due to come out and i've been absolutely sport for choice this year has such great music i'm honestly overwhelmed with the great music that i'm seeing and i want to start with the album that i am pretty sure is going to be my album of the year in my end of year kind of review video i'm just beyond obsessed with this album it is praise the lord who choose which but which does not consume i think i'm gonna put the name here anyway but by eve's tumor i can't even put it into words how much i love this album if you follow me on instagram which you should be um i'm always talking about it on there i'm always posting it because it is so 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 good it came out in march i believe and i actually checked my apple music stats which i'm doing a whole video on after this one and um, I've listened to it 613 times since March. I have to question myself with that because I think that that is that's a little bit too far even for me. I genuinely can't even believe I've listened to it that many times. But then again, I kind of can because for me, this album embodies perfection. There is This is a no-skip album. Every single song on this album has its place. It's just, there is not a single skip. To listen to this album from start to finish is an experience. So yeah, definitely go and listen to it. And I promise this is not the last you'll be hearing about this album this year. The next up is the new Metallica album, 72 Seasons. I have been enjoying the whole album, to be honest. I know that some people have got like things to say about it and some people haven't been enjoying it, but for me, I'm just taking it for what it is. And I think there's some pretty good songs on there. My favorite songs are Screaming Suicide, um, probably Shadows Follow, and then the last track on the album, which is the one that I mainly wanted to talk about today. I think it's said in a Marata. I absolutely love this song. It's so addictive and I'm pretty sure it's Metallica's longest ever song. It's like just over 12 minutes, I think. But you would literally never know because it goes so fast. It doesn't feel like you're listening to like a really long song. I really enjoy the vulnerability in James's vocals, especially towards the end of the song like as the chorus repeats. And then there's this great harmonized guitar solo um, between Kirk and James towards the end as well, which sounds so good when I play it on my record player. The song is just absolutely killer. Like I honestly think it's one of the best songs that Metallica have released in a while. And although the album as a whole, probably isn't as good as Hardwired to Self-Destruct, for example, but I just think that song is so, so, so good. And next up is a band that I really wanted to mention. I've been waiting to mention them on this channel, actually, because I've been absolutely obsessed with them. I don't know if you guys have ever been to a concert and had kind of like low expectations for the support act and then ended up actually loving them more than the main act. Well, that is what happened to me with this band. A few months ago, like towards the start of the year, I went to see Cassiette and, um, supporting her was this band called calva louise they were insane it was like i immediately fell in love with them and i didn't take any videos when i was there i don't know why i think i was just like enjoying the moment but they were insane like such amazing energy vocals guitar just everything really really good fun and very talented musicians it was one of those where they played a song at the concert and then i obviously like looked them up on social media when i got home and that song wasn't out yet so I had to wait three weeks for that song to come out and it was in my mind. Like I was listening to live performances of it. Like I was just desperate for this song to come out and I think that's always a good sign. They're really, really fun. They're such a great band. I would honestly highly recommend you guys go and listen to them. I don't really know how to describe them other than female fronted electronic metal, I guess. They are seriously incredible. They've released three songs so far this year. Um, Third Class Citizen, Feast Is Over and Opportunista. And seriously guys, they're so good and they have an ep coming out later this year so if you take anything from this video go and listen to calva louise and next up we have a bit of a blast from the past i'm not sure if this band was only a uk thing um but if you're from the uk i'm almost certain that you will have heard of the band the hoosiers and their song goodbye mr a because it was like a huge hit in the uk like i feel like everyone knows that song and you know what i've kind of rediscovered it like lately and that song was ahead of its time you know the whole album i think the album's called the trick to life it's so good honestly like they were they deserve way better than what we gave them and the hoosie has actually played at my school when i was like 14 or 15 which is quite funny the trick to life came out in 2007 i believe and i do remember listening to it back then but i've recently rediscovered it and 
is so good. I've had the whole album on repeat for quite a while now, especially in the shower, because I just love like singing these songs at the top of my lungs. The vocalist has a great voice and they're just really, really fun songs. So I went on their social media and found out that they actually have a new album coming out later this year. They've released one single from it so far, which is called Hello Sunshine. And it's a banger to be honest moving on we have been spoiled with three new songs from one of my favorite bands ever Greta Van Fleet from their upcoming album Starcatcher which is coming out in a few weeks actually and I'm really really excited so far we've had Meeting the Master, Sacred the Thread and Farewell for Now and I'm really really been enjoying all three songs but I have to say Sacred the Thread has got me in a choke hold it's completely stolen my heart as soon as i heard it it went straight into my top five greta songs of all time i just think it's absolutely gorgeous like just the melody everything about it is just beautiful and i really love the subject matter as well i'm just like a huge fan of the direction they're going in and i really think i'm gonna absolutely adore this new album i love how they're leaning towards more of a kind of I guess you could say whimsical, magically. Some would even probably say progressive rock-y kind of sound. And as you guys know, that's my jam. There's just no other band out there that sound like them right now. And they're just really like scratching an itch for me. I think they're absolutely fantastic. And I've got tickets to see them later this year, which I can't wait for. So I have also kind of been a little bit of returning to my progressive rock roots. As you guys know, I kind of started this channel talking about progressive rock and I still absolutely love it. It has the biggest place in my heart ever. So I have returned to one of my favorite progressive rock bands recently and that band is Malady. I've spoken about them so many times on this channel. So if you've been subscribed for a while, you might remember because I used to speak about them like in every video. But Malady are a Finnish prog rock band, a modern prog rock band. They're relatively new and they are out of this world they have three albums out and all three of their albums are absolutely incredible but my personal favorite is their second album which is called Toynin Toyster I always find myself returning to it when I'm not feeling my best or like I'm having a rough day or I just need that kind of music that to calm me or like ground me I always find that Malady are perfect for that maybe it's because I can't understand what they're singing about so I can just kind of get lost in the music but there's a 22 minute long epic at the end of Toyn and Toy Stop, which is called I'm going to put it here but it's called Nerja Pioli it's absolutely stunning and something about it just makes me feel instantly better if I'm in a bad mood I don't know what it is but I just love it there isn't a lot of lyrics and obviously I can't understand the ones that there are um so it's mostly instrumental but I would just highly recommend if you like progressive rock and that is everything i'm going to talk about in this video i really hope you've enjoyed it and as always please let me know in the comments what you've been listening to recently thank you so much for watching after i finish this video i'm just about to film my six month roundup of um my life apple music stats so stay tuned for that make sure to subscribe thank you so much again for watching and i will see you next time for another video